Here we'll place the 95% confidence intervals for both data sets on a single chart. Now I'm going to set it up as two XY scatter plots. The X values for data 1 are the 1s and the X value for data 2 will be the 2s. Now first of all block in the X and Y values for data 1 and we'll go to insert XY scatter plot and I'll choose uh, XY scatter straight lines and markers so that's data 1 taken care of now for data 2 to add the second set of data I'm going to go to select data that's in the design menu click on add for the X values, I'm just going to click and drag for the 2's. Now for the Y values, just click on the red icon at the end of the Y field. Drag there. A left click and OK. And there I have the two data series placed on the single chart. Now I'm going to format the Y axis now. Notice that all the data lies between 500 and 800 here. I already have four significant figures there, so the numbers are formatted the way I want them, but I'm going to change these options here. Just go down and click Fixed for all of these. We'll set the minimum value for 500 milligrams, and the maximum value is 800 milligrams. All the numbers are going to go in jumps of 100, like so. I'm going to place some more grid lines associated with the vertical axis. So I'm going to add the minor grid lines and format these to dotted lines. So in line style choose a solid line and then in line style we'll choose a dash. So there's the Y axis formatted. I'm now going to format the markers I'm going to choose built-in markers. Now rather than having the squares, we're going to have the line markers. So point exactly at one of the markers, right click, go to Format Data Series, go to Marker Options, and change to this form. There are the two series formatted there. I'm going to remove the legend. Now in layout I'll add a chart title now after this we'll put a title on the vertical axis so that'll be weight in milligrams and we'll choose horizontal orientation for the vertical axis label I'll probably save a little bit of space here by just clicking after the word weight and hitting enter to place that across two lines. Next I'm going to format the horizontal axis. Now I need to get rid of all these numbers here because I'm just going to put labels along this horizontal axis. Now I'm going to set the major unit to 1 because I need tick marks at where the numbers 1 and 2 were and the axis labels I'll choose 0. That's just going to leave tick marks but no axis labels. Just highlight the plot area and that's a left click and a drag just to make a little bit of room down the bottom there. Now to place two text boxes. First one we'll call data 1 and the next one we'll call data 2 so go into layout, choose text box and this one is data 2 notice the overlap between the blue and red lines this means that at the 95 percent confidence level we do not have significant evidence that the population means are different